Um, well, the, the adults um, arrive um, on Sunday and they have about a 24 hour um, time alone. Um, the first 24 hours is usually just kind of sort of um, some um, rest and some kind of uh, fun activities just to give them, you know, a little um, self-care. Um, and then we do, a, you know, kind of an introductory part of um, what our grief sessions will be. It's, it's more or less like more rest and relaxation today, kind of some self-care um, today because, you know, we, we do some more of the light activities today. We get into more intense, of, intense sessions on tomorrow. The kids come on Saturday and then they have their full camp for three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So then the adults come Sunday and go into Monday. So they have their kind of time to just be with us, like a retreat almost. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, the students good. have their, after their closing, they join the adults. Mm -hmm. So the vision for it kind of came from a realization that all of these kiddos are grieving, but they're, and the camp is this amazing opportunity for students and children but their their adults are also grieving and families grieve together but often because they are losing the same person i've lost the same person mm -hmm. they're protecting each other and so they're not really even talking about what's happened a lot of times the adults will give the children what they need but they don't get what they need and so this gives them the opportunity to get what they need too. The kids are doing some great work with their grief. However, the, the adults are not addressing it at all. So when the kids come back together with their adults at home, their parents or guardians at home, you know, they've already, you know, started with their grief journey. And the adults sometimes don't know how to connect or know how to you know, um, be with their kids in, in, in their journey. So this gives, like, like Penny said, that gives them the opportunity to have some great tools when they go home together because it is actually, they're doing survivor of their, survivor of their grief and we are doing the same thing. So it is kind of some common language that they can hear from what their kids are saying and then we're doing the same thing. So when they get home, they are on the same page. So. One of the challenges that we see too when we're well, working with adults, of course, is that death sort of forces people to tend to all kinds of tasks. Like the business, it sounds terrible, it's sort of the business of death, right? You're making sure that your kids are registered for school and they have everything and you're all now dealing with finances when you may not have been dealing with finances before, all of that. So the, the, the load of of tasks, just sheer tasks on adults after a death like that in a family is enormous. So that's partly why it's important for them to have this opportunity because they're making sure that everything's okay and they're not. Yeah, I, I think a lot of times, you know, we might know a, a little bit about a certain situation, right? But when you get into something, sometimes I think it unravels a little bit more. And so you do have to kind of roll kind of sort of roll with it, you know, when it comes up. And grief, I mean, loss is open doors to other losses. And so we certainly work with mm -hmm. that with students and with adults. And so that mm -hmm. comes out in this space. And so we've had really incredible conversations where people are mm -hmm. processing things that they didn't like initially come to camp for. Mm -hmm. But it's maybe a loss in the past or something that they just really have kind of pushed aside and are kind of ready, the, the environment is right for it mm -hmm. when there's a group of them together. It's the same thing like you said, you know, when you were a certain age, you, you didn't get this help at that time. And so some, a lot of people, it's the same thing. They get here, they're here because their kids get here and then they find about the camp. They're dealing with that loss. But then they go back and say, yeah, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't actually deal with what happened with my grandparent or my aunt. You know, and then you, you go back and get that too, because now they know how to address it. They know how to embrace it now. Mm 